That's right, Model X has a pretty generous scratch already. Let me show you how this happened, uh, Ty Lopez style. Here I am in my garage. Okay, so the, uh, and I won't say who actually uh, did this. At least I don't think I will, it might slip. So the Model X was in the garage like this. It wasn't pulled in all the way. And then uh, the Falcon Wing door was open. And you can see it didn't open all the way. Let me bring it up a little bit. Okay, I guess I could go higher, but. So the door was up and then uh, the garage door was opened, dragging that bar thing. Mm -hmm. That got dragged across there. So I even had the tennis ball there already, um, but it kind of popped off the bottom and uh, so it didn't protect it. And this is, the corner here is pretty sharp. And afterwards I threaded some uh, wire, steel wire through the tennis ball um, so that it can't, so it can't come off the end here anymore. So anyway, so that's how this um, beautiful scratch came to be. This is the Tesla paint repair kit, which I'm gonna be using on that scratch and seeing how the uh, result is. Uh, this is $55. I'll show you what's inside, but first I want to show you um, something you need to know when you're ordering it. Um, and this is uh, this is present in the ordering info. You want to match that four-letter code PBSB, um, which corresponds to deep blue metallic, which is my color. Uh, they each have a different four-letter code, and you can find that. Down here, there's a little PNT, which stands for paint. And you can see mine is PPSB. And PPSB, so we're good. It's also important to note that it's uh, the kits are only available for metallic colors. So I tried to get one of the kits, or see if it was available for the uh, solid white that I have on the S, and it's not available. So um, let's see what's inside. Something to read after you've already tried. Microfiber cloth. Okay, so it comes with poison. Oh, it comes with two vials of poison. So this is the actual paint. And then this one here is the uh, blending solution. And a little rubber spudger. And it also comes with one glove. Paintbrush and a dabbing tool, it looks like. Some gauze-like material. Here's the overall steps, so you need to clean it. They recommend rubbing alcohol. Alright, so here's our setup. And um, first I'm going to clean the area with some rubbing alcohol. So I'm going to be putting that onto a cheap but plush and clean um, microfiber towel. Also, while we're talking about this, I did have this estimated for um, conventional repair, and it would be about uh, a little under a thousand dollars to, because uh, they have to, um, they've got to sand this down, and they've got to, um, you know, repaint it and re-clear coat it, and they also have to blend it into the adjacent panel. Um, so it's kind of a big deal. Um, in terms of uh, having a professional uh, place to do it, which I, I might actually do that anyway, um, but since I have the opportunity of a giant gash here in the paint, I wanted to um, try the new Tesla paint kits and make a video out of it because why not? So I've got the rest of the kit with me here. Uh, so now the first step is the um, is applying the paint, and uh, I've never done this before, so I'm just winging it. And uh, of course, the step before putting the paint on is shaking it to make sure it's completely mixed. That loud sound you hear is our uh, garbage service. Oh, it's even got a mixing ball. So there's two 
applicators here. You probably can't see that too well. This is like a dabber and this is a paintbrush. I'm going to use the paintbrush first. Not because it's a good idea, just because I don't know what else to do. Certainly looks like the right color. So far, it looks terrible. Also wear gloves. So the spudger thing actually works pretty well, I would say. Especially if you hold it at an angle and just let it do its thing. Okay, you're supposed to wait five minutes for that. Okay, the paint is dry to the touch. So let's get on with number two. So taking so many loud cars around here. I'm gonna use the uh, glove they provide. Ah, this is like the OJ trial. I guess it'll just be a Batman mask for my fingers. Oh well. That's what's going to touch it anyway. Alright, so microfiber cloth. And blending solution, so called, which is going to basically take the paint off that's around the chip. Shake, 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 shake. Like uh, Taylor Swift. And then they said pour enough for an uh, area of about two centimeters squared to keep that moist. Basically give yourself some blending area. And I'm gonna start on this area. And you're basically just gonna wipe the wrinkles away. Which is much easier said than done, I'm feeling. Buff off. Buff man. Buff man enjoys beer and other. Actually, no. Buff man just enjoys beer. Little Simpsons uh, freestyle there. All right, let's go over a couple of notes here. First of all, don't spill uh, the um, blending solution. That's a really good tip. Also, you're supposed to blend with the white cloth, not the um, not the microfiber gray one. This is for buffing afterwards. And um, so, because it said once you remove paint with the blending solution, as soon as you're done with that, you want to start buffing it off with the um, with the microfiber. You could, I mean, you can use any one. I have some other ones which I also used, but anyway. So um, already we've made lots of mistakes. That's great. So in terms of uh, results, um, so it's much less noticeable. Let's step back here and just sort of compare. Certainly you can see there's a groove. You can definitely see there's a groove. It might actually be bent. I don't know, the panel might be bent. Um, and uh, there are a few areas that I can tell that I took too much paint off and so there's a little bit of a white line that you can see. Um, but uh, it's definitely less eye-catching. In terms of uh, paint matching, let's take a closer look. Just So it is a pretty good paint color match. Uh, it doesn't look glossy, so that's kind of a problem. There isn't like, I don't see much of a clear coat in it. 
So if you have a tiny scratch, like on the hood, um, let me show you, I've got some on my Model S. Just little, like a, a tiny little pit or something. Um, from a distance, you're not even gonna see that. So this, um, this would be great for that uh, kind of use scenario. Um, but look at that, you can't, can't exactly tell. You can with the light there, but um, let me turn my lights off. Still see the distortion, but it looks, um, it's not like it looked before. A little disappointed here because since I got rid of there, since I dumped the um, blending solution by accident, um, I can't, you know, build up the paint and fill the crack. Because what you can do, you can put more layers on it to build it up so it's a little bit more even, um, which would be nice but I don't really have a whole lot left in terms of, you need the blending solution to get rid of the excess paint, so that's kind of the problem. So I'd ended up putting a few more coats on, um, well not a few more, but just patching up a few areas, so the uh, side paint is reasonably uh, cleaned up, I mean it's not the greatest. But you know, from a distance, you can still see the groove and the fact that there's a, a yeah, something that's not supposed to be there. It is almost in line with this fold here but so it's much less eye-catching I would say um, but uh, yeah. So final comments and observations uh, read the directions check out uh, Tesla's instructional video uh, this works best on very tiny scratches it's not glossy, um, so again, it works better on tiny little scratches. And um, don't spill your blending stuff. Uh, use the white cloth for blending and then the microfiber for uh, buffing, not the other way around. And um, yeah, in the end, um, have your scratches repaired by a professional. Hope this was interesting um, and uh, informative. Um, probably most of you don't have the uh, this issue here that I have, um, but uh, it was worth doing the video just to see what Tesla's kit um, does and how it works and all that. So I hope this was interesting. Uh, comments, questions down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.